This afternoon we're going to uh, take a look at J.J. Uh, Thompson's second experiment uh, having to do with cathode rays uh, as they were known in the uh, early part of the uh, 20th century. Uh, he proved or demonstrated that they were actually electrons. I have the uh, heater voltage applied to our electron tube. I'm going to turn the accelerating voltage up to about 4 kilovolts and you should see a nice uh, blue beam uh, start to appear in the electron tube. I'm uh, now at about 2 kilovolts going up to 3 kilovolts and on my way to 4 kilovolts to get a nice strong beam. And just about there right at a little over 4 kilovolts. Now I'm going to apply a vertical voltage and we'll see the effect uh, of uh, the application of this voltage, deflection voltage as it's called, uh, on the electron beam. Uh, the lower power supply I'm going to begin to turn up. Uh, the electrodes from it are attached on the top and the bottom of the tube. So I'm going to increase the voltage uh, from top to bottom of the tube. Uh, in slow increments here. I'm at about 800 volts now, uh, 900 volts, and you can see a good strong deflection of the electron beam. Uh, now over one kilovolt and going up to about one and a half kilovolts and we see the effect of this deflection voltage. Since uh, we know that electrons are charged negatively, we can tell uh, that the um, positive terminal of the deflecting voltage must be on the lower end of the tube and the negative terminal must or negative electrode is at the top of the tube. I'm going to turn the voltage down now slowly and we'll see the uh, deflected electron beam start to relax back to its undeflected position.